In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to do keyword research using Helium 10 so that you can create a list of keywords that you can use when creating your Amazon listing copy and when setting up your Amazon PPC campaign. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so I'm gonna be covering two different methods in this video, and it's not that you should use one or the other. What I would actually recommend doing is using both of these methods together because the different methods are gonna find different keywords and then you can combine them to create one keyword list. Now, before we get into the first method, it's really important to understand why we need to find keywords, why we do keyword research, and what we're actually looking for when we do keyword research. So when you're launching a product or selling a product on Amazon, your goal as a seller is to gain high organic ranking for your product. That's where you get organic visibility, that's where you get organic sales, and that's where you make profitable sales. So the reason why we do keyword research is to find a list of keywords that we want to gain organic ranking for. We can then add those keywords into our listing copy for the SEO side of things so that we can actually index on Amazon for those keywords. And then we can also target those keywords in our PPC campaigns to get sales velocity on those keywords to then gain organic ranking for our product on those keywords. Now, when we're doing keyword research, what we're actually looking for is keywords that meet two criteria. Number one, the keywords are relevant to our product. And number two, the keyword has good search volume. If the keyword is irrelevant or has really low search volume, then we're not interested in gaining organic ranking for it. And therefore we don't want to add it to our keyword list. We don't want to add it to our listing. We don't want to target it in our PPC campaigns. Okay, so now that we've covered that, let's dive straight into the verse method, which is using the Helium 10 magnet tool. So what you firstly need to do obviously is create a Helium 10 account. If you don't already have an account, you can use the link in the description and the codes either LucaDAV10 or LucaDAV20 for discounts off of the Helium 10 subscription. Now, once you've created a Helium 10 account, what you want to do is come up to this tool section here and under keyword research, you want to select the magnet tool. That will take you to a tool that looks like this. Then once you're in this tool, what you want to do here is add in your main keyword and your main keyword is the keyword that most accurately describes your product. So your most relevant keyword with the highest search volume. And this is gonna be our seed or root keyword. So for this example, I'm gonna use laptop stands. You then wanna select that keyword and click get keywords. What this tool is gonna do is it's gonna use Helium 10's algorithm to find any other keyword on Amazon that is loosely associated with this main seed or root keyword. So now that these search results have loaded, if I scroll down, you'll see that the tool has found just over 3000 keywords. So a lot of different keywords. Now the issue here is that a lot of these keywords are gonna be irrelevant and a lot of these keywords are gonna have low search volume. So all we need to do is use a few filters to basically filter down these results. So the first filter we wanna use is this search volume filter. We need to add a minimum search volume. Now what you add here is gonna to totally depend on the demand for your product. If you have a very high demand product and there are a lot of really high search volume keywords with thousands and thousands of searches, then you might want to add a minimum search volume here of something like 500 searches. If on the other hand, you have a low demand product and most of the keywords that describe your product only have a low search volume of a few hundred searches, maybe up to a thousand searches, then you might wanna make this minimum search volume only a hundred searches. For, the exa for this example, I'm just gonna add a minimum search volume of 200 monthly searches. And then I'm gonna click apply. What you'll see is that it will instantly bring down the number of results from 3000 keywords down to just 160 keywords. So what we've basically done here is we've removed the low search volume keywords that are just not worth adding to our listing or targeting in our PPC campaigns. Now, once you've done that, the second thing that you need to do is make sure that you are not adding any keywords to your list which are irrelevant. And this is something you have to do manually. So what you wanna do is just manually scroll through each of these keywords and you want to select any keyword that you think is relevant to your product. What you don't want to select is any keyword that is either irrelevant or contains a brand name. You can't actually include other brand names in your product listing apart from your own. Now, if you're just creating this list for a PPC campaign, you can target other brand companies' brand names in your PPC campaigns. But if you're going to be using this list also to create your listing copy, you want to exclude anything that includes a brand name. So I'd go through this list and select DJ laptop stand um, if that was relevant. If it's not relevant, then I would not select it. Work from home accessories. This is probably too broad, so I probably wouldn't uh, select this. The stand, I probably wouldn't select that. Black laptop stand, if my product 
was a black laptop stand and this was relevant, of course, I would select it. So go through that process through this whole list. Now, here's a pro tip. If you're going through these results and you're finding that a lot of them are irrelevant, then there is one other filter that you can add to make the results more relevant. So if you look at match type here, Helium 10 actually uses three, three match type sources or three data sources here. Organic match types, smart, complete, and Amazon recommended. Now, Amazon recommended tends to give you quite a lot of irrelevant results. So what you can do is select organic only and click apply filter. What you'll see is this will reduce the number of results from about 160 and here it's reduced them just to 35 results. And these results will likely be much more relevant than when you have all of the filters um, unselected there. So that's a little trick. So once you've gone through that list and selected all of the relevant keywords without brand names in them, you want to click this add to my list button, then create new folder. You then want to give that folder a name, just name it the main keyword for your product, the one that best describes it, and then click save. And then what this is going to do is it's going to save all of those keywords you've just selected into a list inside Helium 10 that you can use in other Helium 10 tools. Okay guys, so now that we've talked about using the magnet tool, let's talk about the second method, which is using the Cerebro tool. Now, like I said, guys, I'd actually recommend using these two methods together to create a combined keyword list. So once you're in Helium 10, what you wanna do is come to tools, back over to keyword research, and this time you wanna select the Cerebro tool. Now the Cerebro tool is what we call a reverse ASIN lookup tool. And the way that the Cerebro tool works is that firstly, you enter in your competitors' ASINs into the tool. And then what the tool will do is it will find any of the keywords that your competitors have organic or sponsored ranking for. And the idea with this tool is that if your competitors have high organic ranking for specific keywords, that means that they are performing well for those keywords and therefore those keywords are relevant for, those, for their product. And if you're selling a very similar product to them, if the keywords are relevant for their product, they're performing well for those keywords, then those keywords are probably also relevant for your product. Therefore, you also want to gain organic ranking for those keywords and they should be in your keyword list, in your listing and in your PPC campaigns. So once you've opened the Cerebro tool, what you then want to do is open a second tab and head over to Amazon. You then want to enter your main keyword into Amazon, if I can type properly, um, and search that main keyword on Amazon. Go through the search results, ignore the sponsored products, and just look at the top organically ranked products. And you want to go through the top 20, 30 organically ranked products and find 10 of the products that are most similar to your product. So if you're selling a metal laptop stand, find 10 metal laptop stand. Even better, if you're selling a black metal laptop stand and you can find 10 high organically ranked products that are black metal laptop stand, even better. The more similar they are to your product, the better. You then want to go over to those listings and grab the ASIN so you can find the ASIN in the URL at the top of the page. Or if you scroll down on the page, you will also be able to find the ASIN a little bit further down in this additional information section right here. So just copy that, take it over to the tool and paste it into the Cerebro tool. So I've just gone ahead and added a 10 here, but if you can only find five or six that are very similar to your product, then that's totally fine, just do that. But if you can find 10, that's even better. Now, the reason why you only want to add in ASINs here that are very similar to your product is because we want these keywords to be as relevant as possible. Let's say that you're launching or selling a black metal laptop stand and we enter into this tool a wooden laptop stand. We're gonna find keywords such as wooden laptop stand that that product is organically ranked for that we wouldn't want to also rank for because they're irrelevant for our product. So only add in ASINs that are very, very relevant or very similar to your product listing into this tool. So once you've added those ASINs, just click get keywords. Okay guys, so the results have now loaded. If we scroll down, you'll see that the tool has spat out almost 3,500 keywords. So this is just far too many keywords. So again, we need to go through that same process of adding filters. So the first filter we wanna add is again, search volume. Remember, as I said at the beginning of the video, we wanna only find keywords that have good search volume and that are relevant. So if we add a minimum search volume of 200, just like we did with the magnet tool, whatever you use in the magnet tool, use that same search volume filter in the Cerebro tool as well. If we apply that filter, we can see that it brings down the number of keywords from 3,500 to around uh, just below 600 keywords. So that's already really helped, but we also need to add a second filter so that the tool only shows us relevant keywords. 
So at the moment, the tool is showing us any organically ranked or any uh, any keyword that has organic or sponsored ranking for any of those ASINs. So this is how we make this much, much more relevant. So we're gonna use two filters to do this, competitor rank and number of competitors. So for competitor rank, we wanna add a minimum organic rank of one and a maximum organic rank of 20. Then for number of competitors, you wanna add a, a minimum ASIN number of around a third of the ASINs that you entered. So if you entered in 10 ASINs, then we'd wanna add three here. If you add, only added in six ASINs, then you would only wanna add two in there. Now, by using these two settings, what we're telling the tool to do is only show us keywords where at least three out of those 10 ASINs have organic rank between one and 20 for that keyword. So what this means is it's going, to it's going to exclude any irrelevant keywords. We can very confidently say that if at least three of those ASINs are ranked in the top 20 for a specific keyword, then that's going to be a very relevant keyword for those products and will likely be a very relevant keyword for our product as well. So let's click apply the filters. And then if we scroll down, we can see that that's filtered down to just 16 results. Now, if you find that this is not giving you enough results, you can be a little bit looser with these criteria. So let's say that we drop this down just to two competitors and apply the filters. We can see that that gives us 28 keywords. So have a play around with those filters, but those are the main ones you should be using. Then finally, you need to go through that process of manually looking at each of the keywords to make sure they're relevant and that they do not include brand names exactly like you did with the magnet tool. So go through these keywords and again, go through that process and select the ones that are relevant and do not include uh, brand names. Once you've done that, you wanna click add to my list and you can add it to that new list that you just created when you did the magnet tool method. Now, what some of you might have noticed is that the magnet tool and Cerebro tool showed some of the same keywords in the search results. So you're probably wondering what happens if you add those same keywords twice to your keyword list. Well, don't worry, Helium 10 won't actually allow you to do that. If you try and add a keyword that's already in the list, it won't allow you to add a duplicate. Now, once you've used both these methods together, you will have a really nice combined list of keywords that are highly relevant to your product with good search volume. And you can now use that keyword list to create your Amazon listing copy and to target in your Amazon PPC campaign. So finally, let me show you how to find that list that you've just created. So in Helium 10, you wanna come up to your tool section and then under product research, you'll see my list. Now you might be confused because it says products, but if you click into that, you'll see that the first tab is products, but the second tab is keywords. And that's where you're gonna find this new keyword list. So what you wanna do then is then click into your keyword list. You'll then be able to see all the keywords that you just added to your list. The final thing that I wanna show you is that if you select all of these keywords, what you can then do is click this little export button and you can export it to Scribbles. What that's gonna do is then allow you to create a highly search engine optimized listing for your Amazon product inside Helium 10 Scribbles tool using that list of keywords that you just created inside Helium 10 as well. Now, if you're about to create your listing copy, I would highly recommend watching both of these videos. This one is about how to write very compelling high conversion rate listing copy. And this one here is how to create a search engine optimized listing using the Helium 10 Scribble tools. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.